written a post on your blog, advertising materials about product or even an essay for college or school is no longer difficult with the advent of AI. It's easy, enough to use for example ChatGPT, and in just a few seconds you have a ready-made text. But creating text that looks human, sounds natural, and can pass tests on AI content detectors like GPT-0 or Originality AI is much more difficult. In today's video I'll show you how each of you can do it. Welcome to my channel and let's get started. Let's generate some text using AI, for example on the well-known service Higgs AI. Go to search and type Higgs AI. Then hit enter and open first website. Here choose for example open AI and type write an essay on the topic why higher education is needed in the 21th century for 3000 characters. For example to make it easy to copy then click send. Our text is ready, now let's check it on the most popular AI content detectors. For this first click on copy to copy this text and after that let's start with the originality AI. Open this site, right click and paste, then hit scan button. We wait a couple of seconds and we see that this essay was detected as 100% AI generated. Next let's check our text on 0GPT. Open 0GPT, then right click and paste text and hit detect text. And here we have the same result, your text is AI generated. Next up is copy leaks, as expected the results showed that our essay was not written by a human. And the last service on which we will check our text called GPT-0. And here we see the same, we are highly confident that this text was AI generated. To sum up, all four checks showed that our essay was not written by us, but simply generated by AI. So how can make it sound human, more like something a real person would write? To do this you need to use a service called Humbot. The link will be in the description of this video. With this service you can make your text more natural and unique. So none of the detectors will catch that it was created by AI. And now let's see this together. Go to Google and type Humbot AI, then hit enter. And here we see the Humbot service which will rework our text in a few seconds. Open this website. Humbot service has a simple and convenient interface. After you have copied your text, you just need to click paste text here, then scroll down a little bit and click on humanize button. After that wait a few seconds and our text becomes more human. Here we can see that popular services for checking AI generated content show that the text was written by a person. But let's check if this is really the case. For this first I'm going to copy this text, click on copy and go to originality AI. After this paste this text and let's check it again. As we can see, the check showed that our text is original and was not created with AI. Let's also check it in other services, for example in 0GPT. Click copy again and go to 0GPT. Paste this text here and click detect text. The result showed us that AI wrote only 9% of the text. If you want it to be even less, you can go back to the Hambot website and repeat the humanization and check again until you are satisfied with the result. But in my opinion, only 9% is also a very good result. If for you this is not enough, then go again to the Hambot AI and click retry. Now we also check our NSA on copy leaks, paste our text and click scan. And here we can see no AI content found. And finally checking GPT-0, we see a result that we are highly confident this text is entirely human, only 4% AI generated, 96% of human generated. Now you know how to use the Humbot service to write a blog post, essay or any other text so that it is more real and natural and so that during a check no content is found to be generated by AI. The link to the Humbot service will be in the description of this video. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new helpful videos. Thanks to everyone supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to support as well, you can do so via the link in the description. Thanks for watching.